G'day folks, time for another equipment autopsy. Uh, this is a uh, generic Chinese HID headlamp conversion kit. It was donated by an anonymous YouTuber. Well, someone I'm going to remain anonymous at the moment. Uh, it was a friend of a friend, or one of his friends, that bought the unit and it failed immediately after purchase. He was driving down the road and the lights went out. He upgraded the wiring, he upgraded the alternator and everything to support it and it just failed dead in its tracks. So I'm going to troubleshoot it first. I've got one of them already hooked up. I'm going to hook them up and just try applying power to them because this is designed to plug into the standard headlamp fitting inside the car. It says not for on-road use. It's supposed to be only used for off-road use. No. Obviously because there's so many variables in calibrating them and setting the uh, original headlamp height and lenses. So I don't recommend throwing these in road vehicles because it just ends up blinding everyone. Uh, they've got a graph showing how it's supposed to be but it doesn't always work out that well. Standard China shit. Very poorly made. Cost about $240. And one's from the uh, local car audio and equipment supply store about 140 and they last a lot longer. So despite the fact that it says German technology, apparently these are shit. So I'll find out, I'll have a good look at it and work out whether or not they're shit. Uh, he wouldn't have given it to me if he didn't realise it wasn't going to work, so well, uh, have a good look at them. We've got one ballast for each lamp. They run off 22,000 volts or so. Well, you have an igniter and a sustained charge, I believe. They're like a miniature metal halide. They're kind of neat. I wonder if I could run them off a metal halide transformer. It's very well magnetised in the back of that too. It's holding the screws on it. So, uh, let's plug it in and find out what happens. Yeah, it's all in Chinese. Alright, well, I figured I'd plug these things in and just give them a proper test. I believe I have them wired on high. Um, the only difference between high and low beam on these is the uh, shutter position. There's a permanent magnet motor in each of these which closes the shutter, so whether or not it's on high or low, it's still putting the same amount of power through it, so let's uh, see what happens. Working. Yeah, it wants to work. Power's on. 1100 CCA battery, so if anything goes wrong, it'll just melt the wires. It's getting bloody bright. Wow, that's bright. The one closest to me is going yellow though. I thought HID was supposed to be a nice blue colour. Turn those lights off. Thing is, heat would probably be a major factor in it, as well as voltage. So whether or not the installation in the vehicle was right is a major factor and whether or not the ballasts were overheating is another major factor. It's just odd that that one there is a bit yellower than the other one but then these, this is a fairly cheaply made set. Every, every part of it looks very cheap. So I'm going to let this sit and run for a while. Casting a hell of a lot of light in here so yeah, let it run till it does something. In theory I've got 20 hours worth of run out of this battery at least 20 hours I suppose because it's 3.5 amps per ballast so it's a fair bit of run time well 45 minutes on ballasts are slightly warm cabling is all good and um, yeah still working fine I might swap to the other terminal I think it's on high at the moment so I'll swap it to low and see how that goes I think that's where most, most headlamps sit at the moment. 
particularly in built up areas you generally just run them on low until you get out in the open away from other vehicles then hit it high so I'll shut it down and swap it to low and uh, see how that goes but yeah I don't know I haven't seen the vehicle they were installed on I don't know what alternator or other electrical system they were running hell it might have even blown a fuse and then Strathfield just sort of covered it up replaced the fuse and installed their own system this was replaced by replaced by Strathfield car radio center so who really knows apparently it's supposed to be completely dead and I think I've just proven otherwise it seems to work quite well so I won't scrap it but I don't know I just wouldn't trust it in a vehicle nothing beats good old H4s or better yet aircraft landing lights like Brad ran on his Jag for a while and I'll stick with them that one's trash but good micro microwave fodder well good half hour of run on the uh, high setting still no change ballasts are lukewarm bulbs seem happy uh, this side here seems a little bit more yellow than the other one but not too fussed about that yeah without having access to the vehicle that was installed in when it failed it's really hard to tell why this thing failed I'm guessing it just blew a fuse and the owner just took it straight to another auto shop Strathfield and had it replaced on the on the spot so they would have just ripped out the old wiring and the blown fuse and just replaced the whole lot as it was so I'll probably put it outside somewhere and just run it as it is make some little housings and just set up some flood lamps and make good flood lamps I've got plenty of power to recharge batteries so I might as well just use them as they are I won't put them in a car though so yeah they're cheap, they're nasty, but, well, they didn't die as quickly as they said they would. Uh, the boxes are around here somewhere, but, yeah, cheapo Chinese HID kit. There you go. We're done here, folks.